Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for July 25th, uh, 2021. I uh, want to apologize to everybody out there who uh, uh, got used to uh, seeing my haul videos every week. It's uh, been quite a dry spell. Uh, all my time and energy has been directed into getting the uh, Airbnb up and running. Well, now that it's running, uh, it's at the point where it's just uh, maintaining it. Um, so should be should have some time to get back to doing some uh, some videos uh, showing some stuff that I got. Um, uh, gotta admit, you know I've been doing these for like ten years, and uh, it never seemed like work. But um, the previous few uh, kind of um, kind of felt like work. Um, but uh, I think I'm over that now. Got a little break in and uh, um, got some neat stuff here. I like uh, sharing my finds with everybody. Um, so uh, this is kind of a, I kind of went through and just picked out. I can't show you everything. <laughs> like, well, number one, I can't remember everything. And number two, uh, the video would probably be about two hours long. Uh, but I went through and I um, picked out everything that uh, um, I know I hadn't shown yet, so uh, it's some neat stuff. A um, couple, uh, couple things might be sleepers. Uh, should be able to make some good money on. I, uh, I am so far behind listing. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, get somebody back in here now um, to uh, give me a hand listing. It's just too much. I got boxes and boxes of stuff. Good stuff too. Uh, just got to get it, uh, get it listed. Get the uh, you know, turn it back into money. Uh, but uh, here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, I'll show you what I got. Okay, first up, it's one of those things. <laughs> I might be the only person that likes it, but uh, I was at the flea market. Uh, a guy had a huge uh, truck that he was unloading. Looked like all. He looked like he cleaned out estates, um, and this box was sitting off to the side. Well, it was a box back when I first saw it. So uh, I asked the guy, he's like, I asked the guy, what are you going to do with the box? He's like, oh, you can have it if you want. So I uh, I took the box. And the, the, the other two sides were pretty beat, but... Uh, I uh, I cut these two panels out of the box. Um, jiffy pots, and these are the little like fiber planting pots that uh, like when you're starting things from seed or or something, you plant them in there. Cool image. Uh, oh my! Uh, my grandfather worked in a uh, a greenhouse and. Uh, um, quite familiar with the uh, with those fiber pots so uh, I don't know still got a lot of condition issues but how many of these things can there be out there uh, <laughs> how many people are crazy enough to use uh, save the side of a box that was used for um, pots uh, probably not too many uh, so not quite sure what I'm going to do with them. Uh, <laughs> uh, it would be a small fortune to get them framed. Not even sure if they're worth getting framed, but uh, they kind of appeal to me. Uh, pretty simple, the colors, the graphics. Alright, moving on. Enough about some old cardboard. Uh, got some shoes. Clark's, brand new. Uh, eight bucks, kind of small, but still with the original box. Uh, my wife got herself some uh, some of her favorite shoes. These uh, Allegra, they look uh, they look pretty good shape. Uh, she paid twenty five for the pair, uh, but uh, but she likes them. She's going to use them for herself. Um, so uh, I got a uh, box of Pulp Fiction. Love the uh, love the graphics on all the old Pulp Fiction. The Savage Gentleman. 
the Golden Woman, <laughs> uh, the Strange Land. Uh, so I've done well with Pulp Fiction in the back in the past. Uh, so um, not sure what that'll bring. Uh, some '70s artwork. Uh, this stuff is uh, it's making a comeback. Um, it's dated. I saw a date on one of these in 1976 or so, but uh, the wheat. There's another one with uh, cattails. Uh, the stuff does well. Uh, Bald Baldwin towel rack, five bucks on it. I got it for three. Still in the wrap. Might use it or might. Uh, I'm sure I could sell it, make a nice profit. I'm not into hockey myself, but I uh, love the look of this old stick. Um, Bobby Hall. Um, CCM, love the, uh, love the tape-wrapped handle. I mean, it just looks like a piece that's, that's been there. Um, it was 15 on that. Uh, the guy said that they were going for 50 on eBay. You can't always... Uh, you always got to take, uh, take a grain of salt with uh, when everybody quotes eBay prices. Uh, but I can kind of see that. Uh, so even if it isn't 50, it's still, still a nice profit to be made. Uh, picked up a metal detector for myself. This was from one of my favorite stores, Second Chance in Baltimore City. Uh, this was, uh, they had a pile of them, assorted metal detectors. I got this for, uh, $49. After July 24th, it would have went down to $39.20. I really like how they price their stuff. Um, after they've had it for so long, the price comes down and down and down. Uh, until it gets appealing enough for somebody. But uh, the battery pack had a little bit of a leak. Um, I pulled that out, cleaned up the contact, put fresh batteries in it, and it works great. Uh, the, the little screw down here um, needs to be replaced. But uh, not a bad, not bad for a White's uh, Quantum uh, metal detector. A lot better than the old uh, Bounty Hunter that, uh, that I used to use. Uh, love the mid-century modern. We've been on a mid-century modern kick. Um, coffee pot with all the internals. It probably works. There's not much I can go go wrong with these things. Uh, 15, got it for 12. Um, just a cool piece. Love that 1960s, 1970s design. Uh, something you would expect to see on the counter in the kitchen of uh, the Brady Bunch. Uh, banana hook, uh, I'll probably keep that for herself. Pretty well made, got the, uh, cast iron base. Uh, a bunch of Harley Davidson stuff, I don't even know what that is. Five bucks, knife case for five bucks, missing a knife, unfortunately. Uh, belt buckle, 15, yeah. I think I got some kind of deal for buying it all, but it's been so long now, I can't remember exactly. Uh, and a writing pen for $7.50. Uh, picked up a buck knife uh, for $10 because uh, it's got a broke tip. But uh, I might, uh, if I can file this down, just take that little bit off air. Make it back into a uh, good knife. The trick is to not not heat up the steel so that uh, so that, that it won't lose the temper of the steel. A uh, little uh, duck call, goose call. Um, they always do well. Uh, I love this thing. It's a drying rack. And I should have put it out for you, but uh, it's got all sorts of writing inside there. It's been painted over. Um, and uh, the way this works is you push this up um, 
there we go you push hard to do one handed but you push this up and as these uh, wood slats come up they fold out and then you can hang your clothes to dry on it and when you're done you push it back down and it all folds up nice and compact on the wall found an example of these on worth point they're going actually for around 120 140 dollars uh, pick that up for 10 bucks it's too bad it's got a broken piece here but uh, I'll sell it as is um, you can tell it was painted probably 60 years ago maybe more I uh, love the bowl <laughs> that is uh, paid $30 for this but that is actually a carved out a uh, water buffalo bowl uh, horn that somebody turned into a bowl gives you an idea how large their horns are um, but like I said I paid 30 and that should bring around a hundred bucks the old print uh, signed in the bottom Samuel Sheaf nice print of a boy paid three dollars for that and uh, I was just looking at it on worth point uh, there was actually a picture of a girl that went with it and uh, well this one sold five years ago for a hundred bucks for a pair so I'm thinking fifty dollars Um, little adjustable clamp set the uh, angle that you want clamp your wood in here and you can make the cut um, that was a dollar couldn't pass it up Linux uh, we do surprisingly well with with uh, Linux and you see it all the time uh, where it's new in the box like this because people get this stuff all the time for gifts and they never use it they pack it away and uh, well either they either they die or they end up go having the yard sale or flea market and they're like what are you going to want to do with this old Linux we got for a wedding and like, yeah, put it out there for a couple bucks and uh, you know people probably people pay really good money for this stuff uh Welcome friends plaque. I think that would be good down on the Airbnb. I got that for a dollar. Pair of chopsticks for a dollar. Uh, well done with the uh, inlaid wood in the handle uh, and a little pouch. Chopsticks sell well. Uh, the uh, mermaid on the rock. I think it's a uh, st statue um, they have out uh, Sweden. Not sure. But the uh, Royal Copenhagen. Uh, porcelain piece uh, that's about an $80 vase I paid 12 uh, Apollo bottle um, Garnier Garnier made in Italy uh, liquor uh, that was a 10 on that space stuff does well uh, my son got himself a knife and fork set uh, for five bucks. Uh, you see these things all the time. I pretty much stopped buying them, so I don't know where where he gets his influence for buying this uh, kind of stuff. Uh, Vegas uh, casino uh, token. I don't know who would want to wear that around their neck, <laughs> but uh, four bucks for that for the old dunes. Uh, Casino stuff sells well. Some of these uh, decorative uh, molds, uh, they were 50 cents a piece. Hang them up on the uh, kitchen. Uh, love the uh, star lamps. Uh, <clears throat> they both need to be rewired. Uh, some interesting stirrups. Couldn't find a name on them, but uh, look like they swivel. Uh, so get some nice uh, cloth cord. Uh, to rewire them uh, with and uh, they'll be looking good again the uh, religious uh, relics I uh, got these for five a piece um, they sell well about 25 30 bucks a piece got a uh, Culkin uh, filter pack uh, for five bucks been open but still new filters uh, 50 cents on the mid-century modern ice tongs with a teak handle um, 
Uh, who knows? Lots of ice buckets out there missing the uh, ice tongs. Uh, this is a Jim Shore Perpetual Calendar. Not Jim Shore. Um, Thomas Kincaid Perpetual Calendar. Name's right there. Um, here's the thing with this. You get all 12 plates. And you swap out the plate every month. And uh, just one of the plates here. Uh, but looking it, looking it up on eBay, these only bring around $50 or so for the set. Probably because the shipping cost is very high. Um, but when you go and look up the individual plates, some of these plates can bring $30, $35. So I'm going to sell them by the plate. If I can get $25, $35 a plate, uh, it's a no-brainer to, uh, to piece them out. I guess somebody breaks a plate or something and they uh, um, need a replacement. Uh, that's the way to go. So that's the uh, that's the plan with those. Uh, some Disney Harmony Kingdom boxes. Um, they were uh, forty dollars for the three. Disney stuff does really well. Uh, best yard sale of the year so far was at uh, Jim Shore Walt Disney lot that uh, we got. Um, that was a great piece. Love the uh, set of uh, pictures. The uh, uh, jumping horse theme. It's uh, it's a newer piece made out of uh, plastic. But it's so unusual. I think somebody's going to uh, really like that set. Uh, the uh, hinge is uh, looks like it's off of a uh, car. Um, somebody turned into a big door hinge. Hope, unfortunately, they don't have the other one to go with it, but uh, still a neat piece. I think I might hang that on my uh, shed. Uh, these give me some help with these. I think they're and irons, but uh, and I think. They had like a disc, glass disc that went in there. Um, but andirons normally have that little piece that runs up and goes into the uh, to the fireplace. Um, love the nautical theme. You can see the uh, it's got a propeller uh, on the base, the ship's wheel, the rope, um, the sailing ships. Uh, very cool. Doesn't really say much on the bottom. Patent applied for. Got the old type screw holding it all together. Um, I paid 25 for the pair of them. Uh, nice old cast iron sells well. Some uh, Tommy Hilfiger uh, valances uh, for $4. Uh, was going to use these down at the house, but uh, it's. Uh, it's probably some good money to be made there. Alright. Getting into good stuff. Uh, whole box of this uh, BB uh, Cosmetics. Uh, they were selling this for $3 a piece. I asked them how much for the entire lot. Uh... They said 80 for the, for the entire lot. And I was figuring it was about 80 pieces there. I countered 70, so I got, and they said okay, so I got the whole lot for 70. Counted them up, it's 103 pieces here. And uh, surprisingly, that you look at stuff up on uh, eBay, it's going for 20, 30 dollars a piece. So um, it'd be easy to ship. Um, easy to pack, just throw it in a bubble uh, envelope, um, and it's uh, it's all brand new. Uh, can't go wrong. Uh, the painting, I, I think this is a good painting. Um, it's got quality to it. I mean, look at the look at how the legs are done. Uh, the boots, the 
of the face it, it's extremely dirty very dingy there's probably a lot of details that you can't even see I was hoping what threw me off was the fact that it's it's on cardboard uh, but apparently painters have used cardboard like this for uh, going back into the 1800s uh, maybe even 1700s so it's not an accurate way to date it um, and of course there's no signature or at least can't see a signature um, but uh, paid 15 for this um, and <laughs> it's just something that needs to be researched uh, but I was hoping to at least get a time period of when it could have possibly been painted. Um, you can see he's carrying, like, looks like a tray. And it has an object here. Um, if money was no object, it'd be easy to uh, send it off and get it fixed. But uh, got to get some, some kind of idea of the age. I mean look, they even put the stitching in around the uh, the garment that he's wearing. So, interesting piece. Last piece to show you. Um, pulled up to a yard sale, saw some stuff laying on the ground. I'm like, what are those things? I'm thinking they were pictures. But then as I got closer, I saw that uh, they're not pictures. They're tables that have been disassembled and not just any tables these are uh, mid-century modern end tables and a card table somebody this is